Now, just a minute ago, we partook in communion. And you, when, when sin is forgiven, then it and everything attached to it was erased. That's right. right? So what it, I don't care if you got sick because you sinned. Right? I don't care if you got sick because of sin in, on the earth, right? whether it was a disease germ or whatever it was, or whether you actually committed a sin and got sick because of the actual sin you did. When you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, Jesus as Lord, and you belong to him, and you, as, even as we represented that through communion, and you drink that juice, you are recognizing that we've just cut the life of all sin from our life. You understand? Just as Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it died from the roots up. Jesus didn't go after the figs or the leaves. He went after the root. And he cut the life of that thing and then it died. When the life ran out, it died. Whenever Jesus bore your sin, he cut the life of sin out of your life. He cut the life of that thing so that sin had no more power in your life and you can live without sin. You can. But you have to have your mind renewed so that you think with the mind of Christ. Because if you are thinking with the mind of Christ, you can't think to sin. And sin is first temptation. And then after the temptation, then you do it. And then it grows to the full growth. Isn't that right? But if you're walking in the mind of Christ, you're not thinking to sin. You can't think with the mind of Christ and think sin. Or you can't think go sin, right? Does that make sense? So you could live above sin. Amen? Jesus didn't die so that he has to clean you up every week. He wanted to make you clean and then allow you to stay clean. But unfortunately, too many times, we end up going back over and wallowing in the same mud. Right? But you don't have to. It's a choice. Amen?